So, I hope you liked our little cinematic introduction of the Steambow Stinger 2. I'm going to present you this very wonderful crossbow. And we directly start with a test of the shooting frequency. Come with me. But first of all, I'm going to show you how you load the weapon. You open it here. Of course, you need, you need your bolts. And then you can load up to six bolts. And the last one. Then you just close it and you're ready to go. I show you how you cock the weapon and make it ready to fire. You press this button here. And now it's ready to fire. So now I'm going to show you the shooting frequency of this beautiful weapon. And you can stop the time. That's it. Pretty fast, isn't it? So, pretty accurate, as you can see. But it was a very close distance, about maybe six, six or seven feet. Um, yeah, but I'm very happy and it felt very fast. Um, we will show you the seconds in the video, how many seconds it took and... Uh, yeah, and it felt very good. Yeah, you can cock it very easily and, and aim. Very good feeling. So now we make the same uh, frequency test, but with the Stinger 2, but the compact version, you see? The cocking mechanism is different, it's much faster, but the limbs are only 35 um, pounds and not 55 as the normal version. I just want to mention the grip here on the compact. Um, you don't have to mount it if you don't want. I pretty like it for the compact as well, but if you want to have a, of a, a, a lesser footprint, then um, of course you can um, not mount it. So now, Six shots with the compact as fast as possible. Last one was a dry fire. So my results from about eight feet, I'm not so happy with them. This one here would have missed the target, um, but these here are quite in the center. So pretty, pretty fast. Now I'm going to make the same test with a bow and arrow and it will probably be a lot slower, but yeah, we will see and fell out. And I try to do my best to be as fast as possible. Of course, it, of course it depends uh, strongly on the capabilities of the of the archer. I'm not such a good uh, bow and arrow shooter, but I try my best. I only have five arrows, not six, but uh, yeah. Let's see how I hit the target. So, I hit my target. Not as good as I would wish it would be, but I hit it. If it would be a, a body a kill zone, I would hit the zone. So, um, it was pretty slow compared to the Steambow Stinger 2, but for me it was not so bad for bow and arrow. So now we make a test which I think is pretty interesting because uh, I will walk some steps and then shoot, walk and shoot and walk and shoot which is for some cases a more realistic scenario and we'll see how, how this will go. Five arrows. I hit my target pretty good. So now we make the same test with the crossbow, and uh, yeah, it will be a little parkour. What I want to show you now is the same Steambow Stinger 2, but with another limp. It's the Pro version. It's uh, 90 pounds, so you can shoot much longer and much more accurate. Our target is around 
I'd say 60 to 70 feet away. You can hear the sound is much louder because it's, it's much more powerful. So I only made two shots and uh, they're here and there. So I'm not the best shooter, uh, obviously, but I hadn't time to train very much with the weapon. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. I, missed, uh, I did not miss my target. Okay, so now I tried to hit the target with the 90-pound um, limp. Uh, it's a distance of around 30 meters, around 90, 90 feet. Um, so I tried to hit it. It will be quite hard. We'll find out. Boom! So I really hoped uh, you enjoyed our little review of the Stinger 2. Um, I have one last thing to show you, which is this baby here. This is the same Stinger 2, but uh, you see, you can change the color of some parts of the weapons. And I think it looks really good, and it's especially, of course, made for the ladies. But as a man, you can, you can have it too. I and mean, there's another thing about this uh, one, it's the um, CQ. So um, it's the same limp as on the, as on the compact. Um, and this is the 35 pound edition. So um, especially for really tiny women, not uh, so strong, um, this is much better because it's really, really easy to cock. Really, really easy to cock. That was a dry shot. You should normally not do this. Um, but yeah, I can recommend this very much for people or just maybe even disabled people who just want to shoot a little bit, enjoy the shooting. This is a very good idea to do. So I definitely hope you liked the video. We had a lot of fun here in the forest. Um, and I think you definitely should try one of these um, if you have the need for a crossbow. It's uh, very well made for home defense. I think that's the perfect purpose for it. You can hunt with it, of course, as well. And in every survival situation, this would be your best friend. And if you want to try one of these, you can find the link in the description below. Um, yeah, tell me what you think about it. I would love to hear what you think. And um, yeah, I hope I see you in the next time. It would be very nice if you subscribe to the channel. I would like to make a lot more of the review videos. And yeah, wish you a nice day. Until then.